Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add a lipstick to your Instagram face filter. Is it cool? Yes, it is. So let's go. First step is to open this uh, face in Photoshop. If you don't know where to find this face, just go to the description and you'll find all the links there. What to do next? Let's copy the background layer. and add a new layer. Uh, now let's add a color on this layer. Any color. And now click on Alt and hold it. And when you, while you hold it, click on this icon. Thus, we added a black mask. How the black mask works? It hides our layer. That's why we don't see it. We want to see only lips. That's why we need to take brush. We need to choose white color here and draw lips. I'll show you how it works. I am starting to draw and you see that I see our light blue color from our layer one here. Why is that? Because uh, our light blue layer has a black mask and when we draw with white color on our black mask, it deletes our black, black color, our black mask. So now I'm going to draw all the lips with my brush. What to do next? Uh, we need to add an adjustment layer, hue saturation. I always click on this icon to find uh, anything that I needed. So hue saturation layer is added. Hold Alt and while, while you are holding Alt, place your uh, mouse between these two layers and you'll see the arrow sign and click. Yay, yeah, good. Now our hue saturation layer is connected with our uh, light blue layer. But what for? <laughs> what for did I do this? We want to add a lipstick and I want to play with uh, its color uh, like in different ways. And to do it, I need to go to properties here in my hue saturation layer. Click here on colorize and now I can move my hue here and it will colorize my light blue layer. For example, I want it to be red like this. It's a good idea to add a maximum saturation that you can uh, because Spark AR is quite smart program and it can adjust uh, your lipstick. Uh, just the right way. Uh, we don't need to change the opacity of our layer, but uh, we can do it in order to check does it fit our lips, our face. And now we need to hide our background layers and save this image as a PNG file. Hi, welcome to Spark AR. <laughs> Let's add some lipstick on our lips. To do it, Click on add object and add a face tracker and add object, add a face mesh. Good. Now let's click on materials and create new material. I will not rename it, but you can double click on it and rename it. Now click on material and we need to change its shader type to face paint. Perfect. And now we need to add our texture. Just click here, new texture, our file. Yay! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> my, teeth, uh, my teeth look yellow though, but uh, maybe I need to correct the color, but that's okay. I just need to show you guys how it works. Um, we can change opacity here. Like if you want something more natural, 
like this. And you see uh, Sparky R understands that this is uh, makeup and it, um, it does not put it on your face like a paint. It's, uh, it's, it looks quite natural. I love it. Mm, we can go back to our Photoshop. And if you don't like the color of our lipstick, you can click on Hue Saturation again and change it. Let's change it to dark blue. Okay, let's just add new texture. New texture. Where is our blue lips? Blue lips here. Hey! <laughs> I'm an alien. Good. And you see that all your textures are here. So you can uh, change it like this though. Okay, so guys, that's all. I hope this lesson was helpful for you. And if so, just give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I promise I will answer all of them. Also subscribe to my Instagram and try my Instagram filters there. Bye.